Welcome back everyone to DETV's Good Morning Wilmington. Our next guests on the plaza are two men who believe in the power of unity and health, especially as it pertains to black men here in the first state. We have the Vice President of 100 Black Men of Delaware, Mr. William Coates, and the owner of 3ND Sports Performance, Lavelle Kosh, who actually is the Health and Wellness Chair. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome. Thank Glad to be here. Us. Yes, we're so, so happy you're here. But before we dive into everything, let's get right to the point. What is 100 Black Men of Delaware? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> the 100 Black Men of Delaware is a newly formed chapter of a national organization, the 100 Black Men of America. Okay. Uh, within the organization, we have 110 chapters throughout the country and a couple overseas. Uh, we have about 10,000 members, and I would say we've impacted about 20,000 young men mm. over our, t our time in, uh, in existence. We are new. We just got chartered in June. Very new. And we're off mm -hmm. and running. This young yeah. man here, uh, I asked him to be the health and wellness chair. He came up with a plan the next time I talked to him. That's awesome. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. I've had the opportunity yeah. to meet <laughs> Lavelle. <laughs> uh, and I was, I was again, we, we hit it off right away. Yeah. We, were, we clicked. We were very involved in the community. And it doesn't surprise me, but you got a good one. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got a oh, good yeah. one. It doesn't oh, yeah. surprise me that he hit the ground running. Yes, he did. So, well, before we go into what you put together as far as health and wellness, let's talk more about the mission for the organization and what it is. Okay. The national organization has four pillars, which we all have to adopt as a chapter. Mm -hmm. So our pillars are education, leadership, economic uh, empowerment, and mentorship. Mm -hmm. So each chapter has to have some programs that hit those targets. Mm -hmm. okay. Our biggest program right now is mentorship, uh, because we have, um, that is, that's what we really do, that's mentorship. So we have two great guys doing our mentorship program. Okay. Um, then we reach out to these other gentlemen like Lavelle, and um, now we're going to kick off our health and wellness because those are things that we have to do. We have to take care of ourselves. Yes. We have to take care of each other. Mm -hmm. Our motto is what they see is what they'll be. Right, right. And that's mm -hmm. what we try to do. So, so, so in 100 black men, we, all, we, we both, under, we all of us understand that there's a lot of ailments that we mm -hmm. suffer from. And that's why I, I guess is the health and wellness is adopted for 100 black men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's, what's your plan? Um, for getting the getting the message, or what are you covering mm -hmm. first, and to the, the, the get the, the get the message to the, the black men that's involved? Because like myself, 47 years old, uh, working through I'm not saying suffering, working through being diabetic, yeah. you know, like and, and those are a lot of things because black men don't go to the doctors. We really don't. You know what I mean? So what? And I see why it's important that mm -hmm. you know the Wonder Twins have, have powered up 100 black mm -hmm. men in Lavelle. <laughs> like like what programs do you have in mind? Yeah. For, for the messaging for these black men? I think first you have to meet people where they are. Mm -hmm. You can't go into a room and say, okay, no no more meat, no more fried food. This is too too extreme. You know, right. I don't want to go zero to 100. I want to mm -hmm. go zero to 30. And then maybe 45, and then slowly we'll get to maybe 80, you right. know. So a couple things that we have in stores. First, we'll have our 5K. It's actually funny uh, you say diabetic. We're going to have our first annual Diabetes Awareness Month mm -hmm. 5K at Glasgow Park, November 5th. Nice. So it's going to be a fun run. I mean, it's going to be a 5K. We'll have uh, family theme events. We'll have different medals for the finishers. And it's going to be a good event, you know, showing people that health and wellness doesn't have to be working out for hours or extreme mm -hmm. diets. It can just be as simple as going for a leisurely walk with your family or if you're a runner, going for the 5K. And there's, you know, an opportunity to be around mm -hmm. other like-minded people, get out and have a good time. And then also, uh, we're planning an event in December called Man Up. Mm. So it's going to be a health fair. We're going to have professionals from the healthcare sector test the men. Now, this is only uh, only men because we need a space that we can come and feel comfortable, feel vulnerable, understand that it's only going to be us doing the test, right. administering the test. We're also going to have barbers coming in, giving their haircuts. Mm. You know, I'm a big believer if you look good, you feel good. Right. And, you right. know, you, you feel play, good, you play, play good. good. That's, <laughs> it. That's it. You know, Prime time, baby. You know, Prime I'm going to say it, Coach Prime. <laughs> yeah. So, absolutely. So, that's going to be in December. And like I said, we already have some healthcare professionals on board, mm -hmm. along with Bar Barber. We're uh, finding a health food vendor we can't have an event and you know give out the food fried right chicken by, over there you know. and cheese over there <laughs> casket over there yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, so, gotcha. so there's a bit i can have that kind we'll have good food okay. and then we'll um, also have a press conference with some 
notable figures throughout the community okay. talking mm -hmm. just to make people understand like this is something that we can't put on the back burner any longer. Right, right. Absolutely. And, and let me ask you, um, the, the organization, the ultimate goal for 100 black men is what? Impact. Mm. Um, that's what motivates me. You asked uh, another guest what was their why, mm -hmm. and that's my why. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to make a positive impact on young men. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to say young black men, but really I don't, I, I'm a retired military guy and mm -hmm. I impact everybody I worked with right. regardless of ethnicity. Right. So, but I'm in an organization now that is focused on black men, mm -hmm. but I think we can share our information to everybody. So right. impact. When we get done, well, when we get really started with Delaware, mm -hmm. uh, which, and we are from Wilmington all the way down all three counties, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we want to have an impact, a positive impact mm -hmm. on the communities. First of all, let me say thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate yes. that. That's yes. very important. We, ce we celebrate our vets around mm -hmm. here. You know what I mean? So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought, you know, I'm, no, I, I, I agree, and I appreciate you making sure that you thanked Mr. Williams for the, Mr. Williams for your, your service and what you're doing, but I'm sure with your experience and everything that you've been through, you're able to give back and give knowledge and mm -hmm. wisdom to all the young men that you encounter. And I think that's valuable in oh, itself. Yeah. 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 Valuable yeah. in itself and that you want to talk and you want to give back and you want to make an impact. Mm -hmm. And I think that is so, so important. We talk about this all the time on the show about the importance of, the importance of mentorship, mm -hmm. but the lack, of, the lack of, of resources and availability for our young men. Right. I, I do. I do see that there there are more resources available for the women, but not as many for the men. Because I think I think mentions it's because people think we're gonna be all right. Yeah. Right. Mm. Like I remember growing up, my you know young young boys in the black community. I can only speak as a black black boy growing up. It was never how do you feel. Mm. It was wipe your tears and get back out there and fight again. You know, it was. It wasn't. You know, it wasn't. We weren't. We weren't coddled into. It's going to be all right. Mm. So, and maybe that might be something. Why we don't go to doctors? Because we know it's going to be all right. right. You know, Absolutely. but it, but growing up, and I call it the sandbox theory. That in the sandbox, growing up, you have a white girl, little white um, um, girl, little white boy, little white, uh, little black boy, uh, black girl, and we are all raised different. Mm -hmm. And in that, we are we are we are groomed to be like, just go out there, toughen up. Don't get the fight, mm -hmm. and our, our black our black daughters are the same way. Get up, wipe your tears. You don't need a man. Get out there, get fighting. And now we have organizations that see that, such as a hundred black men, um, um, mm -hmm. my sister's keeper. That's like, oh, let's do something different yeah. because how they were grown up, it was a village. It was Miss Sarah down the street who was the school teacher yep. in the community. Mm -hmm. It was the, the dentist that was in the community. And now we are making it like our generation, Lavelle and my generation are like, we learn from his generation. Like yes. now let's make an impact. Mm -hmm. We can make a bigger impact. We, and even if we don't get the money from the government, we'll pull it, we'll do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and like you said, it's about mm -hmm. mentorship. Why is, and I, I, I have an answer, but I want to hear your answer, your answer. Why is mentorship so important in the black community? Role models. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I really didn't have a bunch of role models when I was coming up. And some of the role models I did have didn't, weren't, weren't leading me in the right direction. Right. So mm -hmm. I right. had to put a check on that. Mm -hmm. But one of the things I think is, 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 is important for young people to understand is that uh, this box that people put us in, and particularly black men, there's a, they can expand that box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can take it to emotions and feelings. Uh, most, almost every young man who I talk to, I try to explain to them that there's other emotions besides happy and angry. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in between that, but we don't know, always know how to get to that. Mm -hmm. right. But I found that once you uh, make them understand that, it's okay to be yeah. disappointed or to be sad or, or have your feelings hurt or be embarrassed. Of course, you'll get over that. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to angry every time. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the philosophies I use in my mentoring is that you, ha you have a wide spectrum of feelings and emotions and intellect that you can use other than some of the things that you were taught in your limited capacity growing up sometimes. So. Interesting, <clears throat> excuse me, interesting perspective that you are having the conversation with the, these young men that it's okay to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. okay to be okay. It's okay not to be okay. Yeah. Yes. But there are so many other ways of expressing that. 
And I think just having that conversation is healthy yeah. for our young men. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really feel, and you said it right, and I, I think it's just for men in general. I, my father is 100% Italian, mm -hmm. and the old school mentality is, we don't. They don't cry. Yeah. They don't. They, they only get angry. <laughs> Stay quiet or angry. There's there's no in the middle, and there's no crying involved. And you just get up and go to work. There's no, no complaining. Nothing. You just get up and go to work. And and I think that times are different now. And I look at you know I look back at growing up and my you know my father he, you know he was he was either quiet or angry. There was no in between. And it was very a man of a few words. So mm -hmm. but I I always believe that. You know, things are different now, and it's okay to show other, you know, other ways mm -hmm. of expressing yourself. And, and I think it's healthy. And I think it's healthy for everyone mm -hmm. to know that. And I love that you are offering this type of education and resources with this program. Now, the uh, 100 Black Men of Delaware, mm -hmm. we'll call it the Delaware Chapter, yes, 100 is. Black Men of uh, Delaware Chapter, are you accepting memberships? Or are you accepting people to sign? Or can they sign up? Is there a way to... Uh, how how again, can they get involved? Yes, yeah. exactly. How can they get involved? We have a major event coming up in a couple of weeks where, <clears throat> excuse me, the national chairman for the 100 Black Men of America is coming to actually pin uh, all our members. Okay. After we get this pinning done, we're going to fine tune our membership process and start intaking other members. Yeah. Okay. Right now we have members who are doctors. We don't have any lawyers yet, I don't think, but we have the gamut. Of, of professionals within the organization, and we're always looking. Mm. But we want guys who want to commit. So we're going to have a process where you got to show us that you want to be here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you can do more damage by coming in and going back out <laughs> right, than right. just right. coming in and staying. So yes, right. stand stand by. We will be okay. taking having an intake. Because I'm sure there's some viewers tuning in that are I know eager. Some black men. Oh, yeah. That are eager. <laughs> I'm not that a are very eager to be a part of the the organization. And uh, I, I'm sure, I mean, just so, how many incredible black men that come on the show. Right. I'm just, I'm, the list is going through my mind. I'm like, oh, they would benefit, or they would love it, or they would yeah. be a great resource mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. you know, to connect. Almost, it's almost like a networking opportunity Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. So it's not just yeah. a, an opportunity to inspire and learn, but to, to uh, network. Yeah. Yeah. Mentoring first. Mentoring, mentoring first, first. Mm -hmm. networking on that side. That's I like that. I yeah, like that. Mentoring first and the networking mm -hmm. on the other side. I like right. that. And just like you were saying, the mentoring part is so important because people just don't know. You know, right. you don't know what you don't know. And I was fortunate to have a two parent household right. and have coaches and you know, at my gym three and D every day I'm able to be a mentor to right. my athletes. I had one athlete, you know, obviously I won't say his name who had a severe injury and he was on the phone just crying. You know, you work your whole life to go to an opportunity and you get injured and things just happen. It's part of the game and I'm talking to him and I'm thankfully he was able to come back and we was working with what have you, but it's tough to be vulnerable in front of your friends, especially as an athlete and especially, you know, to be honest, as a black man. So right. I think it's important to have mm. different role models who fit different descriptions, not always the tough coach. You need someone who's maybe a little easier to talk to, maybe a little soft spoken to have different outlets and that's yeah. I think what 100 black mm -hmm. men uh, does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was on the first couple calls when um when Bryce, Brandon Bryce, Marquevis um when uh, when it first started and it was just listening to like the mission and listening mm -hmm. to what like you like you said earlier they were trying to get it trying to put it together. Mm -hmm. It's just just an amazing thing to have um just in the community alone right. and just to be a part of like I think we was on the phone with probably like 35, 40, 40 men yeah. just saying, hey, we have, to make it, we have to make an impact. We have to Marquibus make Marquebus and Brandon are yeah, great Marquibus guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Marquebus is the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, oh, um, that's just, such a great person to have. <laughs> right, right. So wow. it was just, it was just yeah, something to person. hear um, and, and, and to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Like, So I, I can't wait to see what the future entails because it's a lot of, mm -hmm. lot of, lot of boys, a lot yeah. of men that just mm -hmm. need, you know, direction. And, and someone to say it's all right to cry, yes. it's it's all right. And but let me show you how to get through that. Let me show mm -hmm. you how to handle that situation in a healthy way. In a, yes. in a healthy way. In a healthy yes. way. And that's where you come in, Lavelle. I'm <laughs> sure. But yeah. I, 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 you mentioned it earlier, and I think we should touch on this. What is three and D performance? So we didn't get a, a chance to really dive into that as much. Yeah, before. absolutely. Thank you for asking. So we're a uh, sports performance facility working with athletes from the high school to pro level. And we do a lot of college preparation okay. for our younger athletes. And then we work with adults too. We call them our infinite athletes. 
You know, mm -hmm. once an athlete, always an athlete. That's and right. That's that's it. You know, <laughs> you, little hot tub time machine. <laughs> and and yeah, we do a lot of uh, work. That's most different than most gyms. Uh, I do things called office injuries. You know, the shoulders, the wrist, the neck. Because in the day, at a certain age, you want to leave the gym feeling good. You don't want to leave feeling beat up. And then you just feel discouraged mm -hmm. to go back. Yeah. And there's a lot of people who are just regular people. There's no Wonder Woman, the Superman there. It's just, you know, regular moms and dads. They right. come in, they drop their kids off, they, they work out themselves. And then from there, we may able to have a lot of success. We have a lot of different programs. Our most successful program is our six-week vertical jump program, teaching the athletes how to jump higher. We had one athlete, <laughs> he gained five inches on his vertical in six weeks. Wow. I had to retest him. Cause I was yeah, like, yeah you go pro quick with that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. He's, he's, he's doing really well now. A young athlete? He, yeah, he goes to Sally. His name is uh, Kareem Thomas. He's, um, wow. he's doing really well now. His coach told me that he's having a lot of success. He's starting to get some college attention now. It's amazing. So it's, it's nice to help the athletes. You know, I, I'm not really a jumper myself, so I'm glad I'm able to give them give them that, that All technique. All the skills <laughs> and the technique. How, right. How can people get in contact with you, Lavelle, about life? Any, any questions? Or yeah, yeah, absolutely. You to join? Absolutely. So 3 and D Sports Performance is our name. Spell it out three A and D D sports performance. We're on Instagram as three and D or three and D sports performance.com. It's funny, my fiance played basketball in, in Europe, in Spain, and France. So she's the three shoot point shooter. I'm the, the D, the defender. Oh, yeah, I knew it was so good. Yeah, he had to throw it in there like my fiance. You better give credit where it's due. She, she's tuning in right now. Like, you better mention She's about to throw all his stuff outside. She's like, go ahead. You got one time to answer it right. No, no. But that's, that's beautiful. That, yeah. that, you know, you're, you're a team, and you, you're, with your skills and all the knowledge that you have, you're bringing it together to help future athletes yeah. to really thrive in their career yes. if, if they want to pursue a career in the athletics. Yeah, so that's beautiful to be able fortunate. to provide those skills. Again, both of you are mm -hmm. providing skills and mentorship, obviously, to not obviously men, black men, but also yeah. athletes. And, and again, amazing, amazing. Yeah. They're able to come together and team up. So, so can y'all come back and tell us like like how everything is going? Like keep us updated with 100 black men? We're going to see you at the 5K, right? Yes! <laughs> she didn't get a kick out of that. She can't kick out of that. It's a run walk. Run I'm, walk. I'm good with that. Run walk. Run walk, <laughs> walk and drive. So, no, I'm good. I'm going to say yes. No. <laughs> we would, no, we would love to come back. No, I want to make sure that we absolutely. keep you know, you know, a progress report yes. of what we're doing. Yeah, a progress yeah. report. You know what? I'm going to take that. Yeah, I like that. A progress report. What's going on? I want to keep people informed and keep you out mm -hmm. in front of, yeah. of what's happening. Keep people, yes. let people know what's going on with 100 black men because mm -hmm. it's it's important. It's it's just important, you know. Yeah. And it's everything from financial freedom and then health and also health and mm -hmm. wellness. So mm -hmm. it's a lot that's going to be on this table that a lot of a lot of men are going to get received. So and Ivan, we have we're very fortunate that we have a platform. Mm -hmm to get the word out and get the message out. Yeah. And it's important that you do come back on the show to continue the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And we're very, very honored that we're able to give you that platform to speak on this yeah. because it is important. And it's also very, very important to hear the progress mm -hmm. yeah, because absolutely. people want to hear, but also you never know who you're inspiring and continuing yeah. to inspire. Yeah, it could be a guy now that uh, uh, someone watching and, and they don't know what to do in life. Mm -hmm. they, they feel like they're at a dead end. Because I know as a black man that I, f I used to feel like I was at a, de a dead end in my life. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine you guys probably felt the same way. Mm -hmm. I didn't have someone that could say, hey, wake up, get out of bed, keep going. Right. It was just like, okay, what do I do? I had to motivate myself mm -hmm. to an extent, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that when you know, when we do when we ha had to do things like this and interview people like them, and again, um, Charlotte Lacey, mm -hmm. that are, are taking the time out their busy lives right to inspire and, and, and give an impact to someone that they do not know mm. is such a beautiful blessing in life. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just grateful to, to sit here with you two. Yes, me uh, too. To, 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 to talk to you about what you got going on because one, it takes a lot of courage. Two, it takes just a, a lot of who you are, mm -hmm. you know, to give your time. That's one thing that we don't get back. You know, we can make money, we can do this, mm -hmm. we can, but you're not getting your time back. No. And giving your time back to a community that that don't know your name. Right. Mm -hmm. It's very, very. It's it's, a, it's it's not just important. It's it's a salute to to your character, as my grandma used to say. You know, you you are judged by your character, not what mm -hmm. you have or, or what mm -hmm. you do, or do do things for, but. 
what you do behind closed doors when no one's watching. So, again, gentlemen, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. All right. One thing? Oh, yes, Go ahead, got it. Okay, one of the things that, that kind of um, separates us from other chapters mm -hmm. uh, is the fact that we're not just focusing on college and, and, and white-collar jobs. We have a segment that we're working on to try to develop uh, some blue-collar workers mm -hmm. and some other skill sets that, that are probably more relevant to our community yeah. than the, the guy who works on Wall Street or works mm -hmm. on Market Street, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to fix that so that we can be very inclusive mm -hmm. of everybody. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much again, gentlemen. What's up, everyone? It's your main man, Big Ive, the talk of the town, Mr. DETVCH.com, and I'm here with my wonderful and amazing co-host, Vincenza. <laughs> we just stopped by to tell you to be sure, if you want any information on what's going on in Wilmington and to meet some dynamic people doing some amazing and great things, be sure to watch us live on Good Morning Wilmington on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Oh, Ivan, 10 a.m. Which he said, <laughs> 10 a.m. Listen to me. That's why he has me here. But yes, <laughs> tune in live 10 a.m. Monday and Wednesday on Good Morning Wilmington. DETVCH.com.